Hey guys, this video is about rendering GPU brass in PCG. So I have the PCG plugin installed already. So I have this open world landscape with uh, PCG volume in place. So what you're going to do is right click and go to PCG graph and then type in GPU. So it's going to show you runtime grass GPU as a template. Select that, initialize from template, and rename it. Save it. Now, if I open this, you will see it has it's inherited from the template. Um, and then I can just add some meshes. So I have some grasses. So if I just so I did two two grass. You can add whatever you want, right? So as you can see, it has GPU on these two of these nodes. Um, so for example, if I select the static mesh spawner and go underneath this GPU, and you'll see it says execute on GPU. You can toggle this or turn it on or off, right? If I go to my PCG volume and add this graph and then you want to change this generation trigger to runtime and you want to add is partitioned because I'm using open world save now we see it renders grasses here Now to see how many grasses are being rendered, you can go to a PC world actor. You can enable this checkbox. Treat editor view port as generation source. Now you, it will show you the grasses. This is the grid size and this is the point generator, right? So my grid size is 16 by 1600. You can reduce that to let's say 400. They bring them close together or keep it 600 right it's all it is it's very much spread um, let's add so that we can um, increase the size of the grass so we they're visible right okay now they're more visible uh maybe three five okay there you go all right so now based on this if i play there you go now this is the grid size and this is the point generator now you can increase or decrease like if i decrease it to hundred thousand from 200 It decreases now. You know, I go go to fifty thousand. You will see less gra less grass. See that? So it was to two hundred thousand before. Let's go back to two hundred thousand. More grass. All right. Let's say you want to spawn GPU grass on material layer, right? So what you can do is you can use this input and add two pins. Uh, this is going to be in this is going to be special advanced and the second one is going to be landscape normal surface and uncheck this There you go. Okay. Now you want you can use this um, change grid size. So this goes here, and then you would need surface sampler. You need surface sampler, and the landscape goes to the surface.
And let's see, let's change this to point three two ten. And um, let's disconnect this. We have debug here. There you go. Now we want to add filter attribute element. You want to filter for greater than. Now I have this. Uh, let me add these materials. I have this material calls M underscore landscape. Uh, this landscape is very straightforward. As you see, we have layer, blend, grass, dart, stone, and that's pretty much it. And I'm not using this. And so, so I have dart, grass, and you have rock. Three, three layers. Okay, so I'm gonna choose grass. Use constant third hold, and change this to float. Let's reset this. And then if I go to volume, if I let's uncheck this and reset generation trigger, save, let's remove this and reassign. Okay. Now check is partitioned. This way now we want to do manually generate. As you see, it's showing everywhere. Let's add a transform point. Then the, you can just copy and paste the same spawner here. Here, generate. Now there you go, see? Spawning in the grass section of the materials. You have dart, you have grass, 